Hi, investing and trading are two different vertical altogether and it is very easy to justify the functions or all the logics behind investing. In very simple word what I can tell you is when you invest into one stock you basically invest into one business and if that business is growing as a stakeholder or as a stockholder of that company you will also grow with that company very simple but then how traders create opportunity out of these market and they make money this is what I'm gonna talk about in this video there's a reason why I'm talking about this video last year NSE where 95% of the volume happened was ranked number one exchange in terms of executing the maximum number of derivative trades what is derivative trades so derivative trades are trades taken into future and option if you know that so people take leveraged position in market via this future and option and they try to do two things either they hedge their portfolio use these as a risk management tool or they trade using these instruments obviously as the data is coming I can tell you very confidently that in India maximum of these derivative contracts were used for trading but what I'm really worried about is how many of those traders were trading logically or trading with certain systems well I'm afraid and what I feel that most of these traders are speculating in the market well they are speculating because they don't know or probably out of ignorance or probably they have been not taught the right trading strategies when I say right trading strategies what these strategies could be so there could be a number of strategies but one strategy which I want to talk right now in this video is called statistical arbitrage on one side you see a lot of people lose money in market and then on the other side you see lot many hedge funds make billions of dollar every year through trading one of the trading strategy which is globally accepted across all hedge funds where it get traded is a statistical arbitrage I can name a few you can name or you can google a few so let me tell you about how a trader generate opportunity in the market where the opportunity comes for a trader to maximize his wealth via trading activity the opportunity is the keyword I'm stressing upon here as the opportunity was coming for investors because of the growth in the business how come the opportunity come for a trader is what the question you must ask yourself well the answer lies in the world of investing itself so so far you know about the finance you know about the financial analysis you do a lot of analysis based on the news which is coming for these companies and then you take decision means as an investor you take a decision that okay this is the quarterly news which has come it looks promising and this company should grow in future then you do some theoretical analysis also or qualitative analysis also where you say that see the competition is very high but this is one player which has been sustaining and they will probably overcome or overpower all other competitors and that's why you should invest into them so qualitative or quantitative way you take decision decision to invest because you find the opportunity that way well there is a third world which talks about th there is a third field in fact apart from the investing trading I can call it behavioral finance so there are people who work in this field they say that even though when all the informations are coming to all the investors they don't process that information in a similar way they all take those information and process as per their experience or as per their biases also so we are all made up of lot many biases and because all those informations are not processed in the similar fashion what it end up with is giving opportunity or giving certain kind of gap in stock prices some stocks may run very very fast 
in a shorter span of time against its peers because people who were invested into that specific stock, let's call that a specific stock TCS. So TCS quarterly result came and it ran by 6%. However, its competitor Infosys has not taken any move or maybe have come down by 1% in this period. But what we have seen that they are into the same nature of businesses. They have been constantly setting up similar standard in the industry. And their stock prices are also very, very correlated, highly correlated. So what happens because of the behavioral finance that in certain small period of time, one stock may suddenly go up and then another stock will stand at the same price. But then eventually, this gap will narrow down. Well, using mathematical and a statistical tool, you can find these kind of opportunity. Obviously, it will also involve the theoretical and the qualitative analysis between these two companies. But then, mathematically or statistically, you can identify these kind of arbitrage and do a specific type of trading which is called pair trading in Indian market. At present, I see approximately 40-45 highly correlated pairs where their co-integration values are also in the favor of them in terms of that they will stay relevant as a pair in the coming future. So in pair trading, you basically buy one share and sell another one via future market. So we have developed one course on pair trading. We call it a statistical arbitrage trading, where we will teach you the basic of mathematics, statistics, Python programming in a very, very simple manner. I mean, even if you are not from a coding background, we'll give you a sample of code, which you will just have to run for different stocks or the set of stocks and find few values. We'll teach you how to generate the alert. We'll teach you how to backtest that how exactly if this pair I would have traded using the similar alert mechanism, what kind of return I would have generated in past. So it will be not just a course, it will be a kind of workshop. In the very first month, what we will do is we will try to establish this fact that statistical arbitrage work. How? By taking pair trades. So as soon as you enroll to the course, we will make you into a group where for one month we will share the paper trade and show you that the alert mechanism which we are going to teach you here are giving whether the positive return or a negative return. Why? Again, bias. We all have certain biases against trading strategies or trading systems, whether they will work or not. And since most of the time people who have speculated the market, they have created one bias that they will never be able to make money in the market. So for that purpose to remove that bias, we first include you into a workshop where for one month, we just give you this specific tool through which you can generate the alert and can see yourself whether these strategies work or not. And then in second months, you will be given a series of video through which you will learn all these concepts I'm talking about, be it the basic of programming, be it mathematics, statistics, Excel sheet, or how to import data and process them, the qualitative analysis and future end option, and most importantly, trade management and risk management. So all those videos will be given to you in second month which you will learn and keep on doing the paper trade. In third month, we will make a batch of all the alumni who have joined this course specifically in that month. So what will happen that together, you will come and then you start giving these alerts or start generating these alerts and giving the trade to your own colleagues into a closed WhatsApp group. So this will be a complete three month workshop where you will establish a fact whether statistics work in the world of trading, where you will qualitatively judge these companies whether they have to be traded as a pair or not. And then you will also form a community where you will help each other. I would specifically like to 
talk about this community factor well when we talk about a hedge fund you see that their main investment goes in people and those people are working full time just for the sake of trading and generating wealth or the revenue for the company but many of you who are retail traders they do this as a part time activity when you do it as a part time activity obviously you will never have an edge over those people who are doing it full time and trading is not like investing where everybody will be having a win win situation in trading many of the time in a monthly contract it will be a zero sum game where certain set of people will win and certain set of people will lose so when you will work in a community of 100 people who have been trained on the same trading systems and who have been handholded and who got the similar conviction then you will work as a group of traders who will help each other so one person can be good of statistics he will generate the alert another could be very good at you know taking the news out and seeing whether the arbitrage is a statistical arbitrage or this arbitrage is coming just because of certain external news factor so lot many activities are required there to become a start up trader and as a group of 50 100 people you will be able to achieve this well i first taught this for a set of 100 people and then already have this one group learning and executing trades with the help of each other and i found that this is going really successful in fact i will ask few of them to comment this below this video and talk about their own experiences that how they are feeling right now after learning a trading technique which is called a statistical arbitrage what kind of things they have learned and how they are feeling in terms of you know working in a group of people where they consider each other a colleague i mean it was equally an enriching experience for me in january and february to teach these 100 people statistical arbitrage and bring them on a single platform where they are discussing about these trades these are discussing about companies and doing the trading right way and not speculating in the market my only urge here for you is enroll to this course only if you are serious about this trading as a business investing is not a business investing is you know parking your partial savings so that you can beat inflation but trading is a full time business it will require dedication it will require certain kind of learning so only if you think you have surplus time on weekends where you can dedicate or at least one hour every day to dedicate into the market in learning things executing things then only you enroll for the course otherwise stay as a happy investor in indian stock market and keep on you know contributing from your side in terms of every time you invest into the market it get invested into companies and these companies growth is equally important for our economy well on that note i would like to thank you here and uh, there's a very high chance that if you're watching this video you would have already enrolled my course a complete course on indian stock market since lot many people were asking that they want to learn about the trading this year we took this initiative and launched this course a complete course on indian stock market but we have done a lot of hard work behind this course in terms of first training people in batches of 10 then seeing that you know where ever the difficulty is coming to them and then finally we ended up with this 3 month workshop what i feel this that this 3 month can really make a difference in you as a trader and uh, yes this is all i want to say